How's it going YouTube? Six Speed here and welcome to Top Choice Audio. Today I got a cool tutorial for you. I'm going to be breaking down one of the main bases from my new track release with uh, Drop Central titled Fax Me Harder. You know, and I'm pretty excited to show you guys how to do this. It's a simple bass and uh, here's a little sample of what it's going to sound like. So if you're ready to learn, make sure to stick around till the end and figure out how to make this cool bass. Okay, so we may as well get on with it and jump over into the DAW and start this tutorial. So here is a quick little sample of what the bass is going to sound like when it's done. And uh, just a quick tip, a majority of the sound in this bass is actually done with the redux filter. Um, that's the biggest trick to it is the bit crushing. Um, uh, there's, other than that, it's a super, super simple bass. And even the bit crushing and the after effects to get it going are, are super simple as well. But anyways, without further ado, let's move on into our initial preset. So for oscillator A, super simple all we're gonna actually the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the master volume down to only about 50 percent um, so we don't blow your ears off and then we're also going to go to oscillator a and open up basic shapes we're gonna leave it on the sine wave just as is levels fine and we're gonna open up fm from b we're gonna bring the fm from b up to about 51 percent and leave it there and that's it for oscillator A. So now for oscillator B, again, we're gonna go analog and basic shapes. Turn that up to position four, so we're on a square wave and bring the level all the way down. As well, we're gonna bring the octave up to plus two, um, just so it's a little bit higher and gives it some nicer harmonics than having them both on the same octave. And that's it for the oscillators. Now onto the filter. What we're going to do is open up miscellaneous and then hit the reverb. Make sure that A is engaged and key tracking B and noise and sub filters aren't required because we're not actually really using them or making any sound through them. So they won't be going through the filter. But let's bring the cutoff on the reverb filter down to about 215 hertz here. Uh, there we go. And we're gonna bring the drive up to 100% as well. And then that's it for the filter. Um, we're gonna engage mono on voicing and that's it for the oscillator tab. Now we're gonna move over into FX and all we need is distortion and compressor, which are both really simple as well. Um, legitimately for distortion, I just turn it on and I bring the drive down to 2%. Um, everything else can stay the same and then for the compressor turn it on turn it on to multiband and then bring the gain up to about 10.4 db like that and this is kind of what it's going to be sounding like so far and now you're all sitting there being like quinn you're insane this doesn't sound like the bass, but that's because, like I mentioned earlier, it's all in the post-processing. Um, one also little trick that I add here um, that makes a big difference in the sound is you go to the matrix. Um, for source, do macro 1, bring the amount to plus 2. And then for your destination, we want to go global and then master tune. We're gonna break or drag uh, macro up to about 64% here. Or no, I'm sorry, 46% is what we want. And leave it there. And that is it for the um, actual Serum tab. So now we'll close this and we will open up Audio Effects. And we'll go to Redux. We'll bring Redux on here. We're going to turn on the bit reduction and bring it down to about 13. We're also going to turn down sample onto soft and then bring that up to 16.4. And this is kind of where the sound starts to come together. This is the biggest key difference is throwing that redux on there. And finally, just a little glue compressor, hit soft clip and then put it up 3 dB. And this is what the sound sounds like now.
So as you can see, it is a super simple base, really easy to make, and it's honestly all in the post-processing, because this is what it sounds like without the Redux on. And this is again back with the Redux. So make sure to use your bit reduction. It's a super handy tool, especially when you're doing things like a uh, hybrid trap. I mean, look at how simple that bass was through Redux on it and a compressor and bam, you got yourself a banger. Well, there you guys have it. That's the tutorial for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope I was able to inspire you or teach you something to be able to go and make your next track. As well, just wanted to do a quick shout out to Top Choice Audio because they've hooked me up with some sample packs lately and after browsing through their library, I was mad inspired. They have so much content, it's actually really quality and it's, it's great for whenever you're kind of hit that wall as a producer and you're looking for that one specific sample or even a melody that just helps you trigger the inspiration that you need to pump out your next track. So make sure to go check out their catalog and see what they have to offer. As well, just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe, like, and comment. Let us know what you want to see for future content. You know, we got lots of stuff in store for you that you guys are going to enjoy, but we're always looking to find out what you guys want as the community so we can give back to you and help you learn what you want to learn because that's what this is all about, is supporting each other and helping each other grow. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in. I hope I was able to inspire you. Six Speed, out.